teased. If you guys enjoyed the intro or enjoy what you see here, go follow SM underscore battle underscore stories on Instagram or get some work done yourself. What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're going to be going through the top WWE Elite figures of 2018 so far. You know, we're only in October. We're 10 months through, not completely 10 months through, but we're on our way to month number 11. And you know, there's only 12 months in a year. That's basic, uh, you know, things to do with life. So um, we're almost to the end of 2018, but there are so many awesome figures, and I wanted to run through my personal favorites, the ones that I think are the top ones of 2018 so far. We're probably going to do another video video like this at the end of the year once 2018 is complete. I'll probably do my top 10 figures or something like that. If that is something you guys are interested in, please let me know down in the comment section below. But anyways, guys, let's get into this stack of figures that I think are the top ones of 2018. Alright guys, so I guess we can start off with this brand new Elite 63 Shelton Benjamin. Who doesn't love this figure, guys? I mean, my lord, it's the first ever Shelton Benjamin Elite. Um, if you guys missed action, action figure surgery episode number 6, definitely go watch that. I showed you uh, how to get these knee pads, switch them out for the larger ones. You definitely want to check that out. But Shelton Benjamin has become one of my favorite figures in my entire collection. Next up, we have Kyle O'Reilly, one of the three in the Undisputed Era Epic Moments pack. And this is an epic figure, guys, just like the epic moment says there. I mean, what's not to like about this figure? It's so perfect. Beautiful head scan, beautiful part selection, great accessories, and definitely a top figure of 2018. Speaking of which, we have his tag team partner, one of his tag team partners. We have Bobby Fish right here, guys. Amazing head scan, amazing accessories again. Great part selection on this guy. And then I guess we can end it uh, with the Undisputed Era with this Adam Cole. I mean, it's freaking Adam Cole. Beautiful head scan, beautiful part selection. Beautiful Bullet Club briefcase that does not come with the figure, but it is an amazing figure. So uh, Adam Cole in the Undisputed Era had to be included in the top figures of 2018 so far. Next up, we have Elite 62 Braun Strowman, and I think this is the best best Braun Strowman that they've made thus far. I love the boots, the uh, Timberland-esque you know, green and uh, light brown on there. I love this figure so much. It's got a beautiful head scan on there as well. And uh, yeah, the best Braun Strowman had to go on the 2018 list. I love those boots to death. Moving on, we do have an epic moments again, but it is the Milko Mania Kurt Angle. I just think this is a fantastic figure. You get really cool accessories. You get really new molds. We get this shin articulation right here. Got the Nike trainers rocking. Got the black uh, athletic shorts on there. Beautiful looking jersey. We even get his medals and this great screaming head scan. And it does come with all the milk accessories too. So this is definitely one of my favorites. Kurt Angle, one of my favorite superstars of all time. This had to be included in the top figures. Next up, we do have Elite 60 Triple H, and it's so cool because I was going to make this figure into a custom, but then Mattel released it, and you know, it's just a, I love this freaking attire. I love the skull logos right there. Um, same thing on the back, you get the cool entrance vest, and you get a bearded Triple H head scan. So what's not to love about the Triple H from WrestleMania 33? Next up, we do have the Elite 59 Zack Daddy, Zack Ryder right here, and I love this figure. I'm a huge fan of Zack Ryder. He helped me out a ton. Um, at a show one time, and he, he's just an awesome dude. I love, you know, everything about him. This figure is great. Got woo-woo-woo in the butt, and um, the, the, this, this attire is just so great. I believe it was Battleground 2016, and we need to get some more gold on Zack Ryder. Next up, guys, we have to include the Elite 62 Authors of Pain. These figures right here are easily going to be um, in the top five of the total figures of 2018 because these head scans, these parts, these molds, everything about these figures are incredible. And you, it came, they came with the NXT Tag Team Championship, so what's not to love about Akam and Rezar? They look incredible, and they will definitely be in that top ten later on in the year, but they had to be mentioned in this video regardless of where they will finish up. Next up, guys, we do have Elite 59 Kurt Angle, and how much better does this figure look with the WWE Championship and my custom hoodie thrown on there? I mean, my God, what a beautiful looking figure. It is, this figure right here is, this is going to be in my top 10 easily too. Such a great figure, great head scan. It, it's literally, I, I like to just look at this figure. If I'm just chilling in the room, filming MDT or something, I look over, I look at this figure all the freaking time. It had to go in the top figures of 2018. Next up, we have a highly detailed figure, guys. It is Elite 62 Dude Love, and we've been waiting on this figure for so freaking long. I lost my glasses. I don't think that Mattel put my in the box when ringside you know shipped it off or whatever but a great figure cool tie-dye on the shirt 
and on the tape here got a great headband as well and uh, yeah dude love next up guys we do have one of the members of the shield three pack epic moments uh, shield reunion from 2017 and I could have put any of the three on here but I decided to put Seth Rollins because I love this gray attire it's the lighter gray then the TNF, we do get awesome accessories with this guy. I love the Burn It Down t-shirt. I hate that they reused this head scan, but I'm going to be getting an extra Elite 64 or a few or the Top Talent Seth Rollins. I'm going to be popping one of those head scans on here. Still got to paint the uh, knee pads and the hips, but it is a beautiful looking figure. Had to include it here today. Next up, we have a SummerSlam Elite, and it is the Matt Hardy SummerSlam Elite in the white pants, V1 Matt Hardy. You know, this is the first uh, Mattel action figure, I'm pretty sure, that came with interchangeable hands. You know, he has the V1 hands, and uh, now he, he's the one that set the standard for interchangeable hands. So now we have him with tons of different figures moving forward. Speaking of interchangeable hands, guys, I had to include this one, the best Shinsuke Nakamura figure to date. Got the perfect head scan right here. This is probably head scan of the year, hands down. You got the great cloth jacket to go with it, and it tops it off with this United States Championship. Of course, he does have his interchangeable hands. Really cool attire, and Elite 63 Shinsuke Nakamura had to be included in the list here today. Right here, we have Elite 60 Kofi Kingston, and I love this figure to death. I think uh, out of all the New Day members, he looks the best. I mean, I could have put all three of them in here, but I really love Kofi the best. He's got the Adidas wing shoes on. He's got a beautiful America-inspired attire just like the rest of his brothers but the head scan is beautiful and it's just great Kofi Kingston's amazing he has amazing figures next up we do have another brand new figure we have the Elite 62 Roman Reigns I think this is the best Roman Reigns figure that we've gotten to date really great head scan great attire in the gold uh, updated vest and everything I mean it, there's not much to say about the figure but when it's a great head scan and you know they capture it perfectly it's got to go on the list so we got elite 62 Roman Reigns next up we have Finn Balor guys and this had to go on here the entrance greets Finn Balor I did add the shoe details right here I wish Mattel would have included that but how great does it look with the added shoe detail that is freaking beautiful and um, yeah I mean there's not much to say they gave him the accurate torso and that's all that matters I mean the network spotlight was high on everyone's list so if that was high on your list from 2016 or 17 can't remember when that released then this figure definitely has to be on your 2018 list next up guys we do have the amazon exclusive uh, attitude era raw is jericho and I did switch out the knee pads, but this is a great figure overall. You get a cool shirt, you get a great head scan, and you get the uh, red, silver, and black barbed wire attire. Not much to say about the figure, but it is amazing, and it's a nostalgia pop, so I had to include it here today. Next up, we have a tag team, and it is the Elite 59 American Alpha. I love these uh, camouflage slash USA uh, esque attires with the touches of gold. I know that the problems with these figures are that the skin tones don't match on the torso compared to the arms and head, but uh, they, these are amazing figures. I love them so much and uh, I hope that they get some more time on Vindication down the line because these guys need to be used on screen. They look great. I did switch out the arms uh, to put on a Seth Rollins, but uh, I think the black wrist tape with the smaller arms works for Chad Gable, but these are great figures. Next up, guys, we do have the SummerSlam Elite Seth Rollins, and I popped my uh, different head scan. I put the Elite 37 repainted head scan on here, and it made it look a ton bit better. But uh, this this is a great figure. I love the SummerSlam figure. I love Seth Rollins, so, you know, uh, a lot of his figures are going to be included here today. But it's a great figure. I love the red on this thing, and it's it's just perfect. I mean, the head scan is not my favorite head scan, but, uh, you know, get one of those Elite 64 head scans, pop it on there, do something else, and that figure would literally be perfect. But it's still a top figure of 2018, hands down. Next up, we have a couple Hardy Boys right here, guys. We have the Elite 58 Matt Hardy and the Elite 57 Jeff Hardy. And both of these are incredible. I mean, I remember when uh, when they first started, you know, when the, the Hardy Boys returned at WrestleMania 33, we were ready to get our figures, and Mattel just started pumping them out. We were getting Jeff and Matt and Matt and Jeff just over and over and over. And th these two right here are epic, and they had to be included here today. I think the epic moments came out in 2017, if I'm not mistaken. If they didn't, then they should totally be on this list. But I'm pretty sure they were in 2017. I could be wrong, but these figures had to be included because they are the Hardy Boys Next, we do have another Hardy Boy, and it is the Entrance Grace Jeff Hardy. And my goodness, guys, this released in January, I do believe, and it's so beautiful. And this is a custom cloth shirt I threw in there, but what freaking way to top this figure off the one that, with the custom shirt. But it had to be included. You know, this is a repaint or re-release of the Elite One Jeff Hardy, and it's, it's a freaking piece of beauty. I mean, what, what can you say? I even custom the hand a little bit, give him the... Uh, 
you know, the, the, the custom Jeff Hardy signature hand, which I'm sure we'll get down the line since we're getting interchangeable hands nowadays. But entrance greats Jeff Hardy had to be on the top figures of 2018. Moving forward, we are down to our last three. Elite 60 Elias, guys. I had to include this. I know I need to torso swap it and probably arm swap it. But it's a great figure. I think the mold that they used for the uh, tor uh, the, the crotch and the legs and everything are great. And uh, it's it's pretty much a perfect figure besides, you know, a few parts choices could be different. But uh, besides that, the head scan's beautiful. And uh, we got to walk with Elias here. Moving on to our final two figures, guys. We do have the Elite 57 Seth Rollins. I did add the smaller knee pads, the more accurate knee pads. I added the knee brace. And I added the Screaming Elite 52 head scan. And uh, the reason I did that is because this is supposed to be before the match starts. He's supposed to have his torch. And um, so that's that moment right there. Very highly detailed figure. I wish the gold was a bit lighter, but it's still a really great figure. And then finishing off our list, guys, we have the Elite 61 AJ Styles. And with this camo jacket or vest on there and the WWE Championship and the smaller, more accurate knee pads. Oh, this figure didn't even come with knee pads, so adding those knee pads really tops this figure off. You get the True Effects head scan and the uh, the AJ Styles logos and the USA and the P1 and everything just really sets this figure off. Really happy with this AJ Styles, but that pretty much does it for my personal top favorite elite figures of 2018 so far. But yes, guys, that pretty much does it for today's video in the top WWE elite action figures of 2018 so far. Let me know down in the comment section below which figures missed out on the list, which figures did I miss. I would love to know your personal favorites of 2018 so far. Which figures are you also looking forward to? That does it for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.